But it only dinged three times. Man, these GoPros are not reliable. So what's on the agenda today? I'll give you a hint. It's a derivative of last week's video with Rose. It's a nice airstream. I want to go where there's water. I'm telling you though, it's starting to get really, really warm and the water areas around here are getting really, really busy. But it's not even 10 o'clock yet, so maybe I can find a place to go. I should get Jack out of the box and show him that van. I should have stopped and got a donut. I'm hungry. My turn, my turn, my turn. Yay! I know my shirt's all disheveled. I can't seem to get it straight. Wow, that's a huge ladder. Dude, what are you doing? Come on over. Okay. It's getting warm and the people are restless. So we need to go find a nice, quiet spot. And I need to make sure that the truck is level. That's another hint. All right, we're back at Rattlesnake Island. Never seen a rattlesnake in here, but I guess there could be. It's gotta be why it's named, right? I wouldn't wanna live here. <laughs> I could potentially have found a spot, guys. Yes, sir. There ain't nobody here. So I'm gonna back into this spot right here. It looks like it's nice and level. We're gonna go to the off-road thing. Off-road. Oh, it looks like we're perfectly level. Sweet. I feel like I should be facing front of the truck should be I gotta turn around I do I need to turn around so I can see the water I gotta cover the camera because it's in the sun there we go now we're protected <laughs> okay volumes up all right so you may be wondering what we're doing here well so am I so I've got a refer to a couple of comments that I saved on my phone here. I don't remember exactly what we did last week, but I do remember that we had a problem with Rose. This is Rose. Uh, she's one of our DJI Mini 2s. Jack's the other one, he's still in the box. Anyway, the problem was is that we were flying out straight, or the sticks were straight, but Rose is veering to the right for some reason. It's veering to the right like that. Has anybody noticed that their drones do the same thing? I'm, I'm going straight ahead, but, but she's veering to the right. And I don't know why she's doing that. So we were asking people to give us an idea of, of how we can fix that or why that's happening. We also got a comment from D40Hippo uh, who had the same problem. He said, anyone know why it goes off to the right? Mine seems to do it now and then. Well, we also got a comment from Way North Drones offering a possible solution here. He says, you might need to calibrate the IMU to fix the drift while flying forward. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put Rose up in the air. We're gonna demonstrate again her veering to the right. We're gonna do an IMU calibration and then we're gonna see if it's fixed. I, again, I still I get confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, apparently when you do the IMU calibration, you have to find a flat level surface. So I had to make sure that the truck was level and the bed of the truck was level. So hopefully I'll be able to put the, the drone onto the bed of the truck and not have any interference. That topper isn't metal, so it shouldn't interfere with this IMU calibration. Let's get things going here. Oops, <laughs> I got confused again. I'll turn the controller on. I want to go, whoops, into airplane mode because I've been getting a lot of messages this morning. Not that I'm popular, I've just been getting a lot of messages. Go fly. Actually, I need to get out of airplane mode so I can get the map, right? Whoops, why am I doing that? <laughs> Let's see if we can download the map at least. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. If you go to airplane mode too early, your maps don't come up. But if you keep it out of airplane mode, the maps will load, and then you can go back to airplane mode, and your map should stay there. 15 satellites, we got a strong GPS signal. I say it's time to get Rose up in the air. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We'll do her acclimation test. <laughs> Oops, I don't want to run into the truck. Okay. So we're gonna, all we're gonna do here, we're gonna fly out straight. And we're gonna see what she, I wanna stay low because there was an airplane that was flying out here earlier. I'm not sure why. I don't think he was 100 feet, but if I see him again, I'll definitely come down. All right, so let's go out, we'll go straight. See if she veers to the right. Well, now she's veering to the left. Like big time to the left. 
Wow. That's crazy to the left, man. Let me turn her to the right here. See if she... Yeah, she's continuing to veer left big time. All right, well, that's proof that she's still doing what she's doing. I don't know why she's going left, though. She was going right before. Let me turn her a little bit over this way. Let me go this direction. See if she's still turning. Yeah, she still seems to have that, that slight turn to the left. It was bad at first. Did you guys see that? All right, let's get her back, and we'll do the IMU, t IMU calibration. I don't even know if I can hit this pad. <laughs> let's come down. Landing. Did we land on the pad? Oh, we did. We landed perfectly on the pad. Okay, I gotta, I guess, resituate the GoPro. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Well, hello, camera. How's it going? <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so we have officially relocated the GoPro. We've got rose here i gotta fold her up because for this imu test you gotta have them folded up i think you gotta have them on too <laughs> all right so we'll start that way let's go to i don't even know where to find this thing the sun's right right on my phone control maybe maybe safety all right so it says imu normal and then it says calibrate so let's go ahead and try this calibration i did check this truck bed earlier and it's perfectly level right now so imu Calibrate. Place aircraft on level surface. Calibrate the aircraft as shown. Only move the aircraft when prompted by the instructions. Keep the aircraft powered on and avoid starting the motors. All right, let's get this started. Place the aircraft on a flat level dry surface as shown. Keep the aircraft powered on and avoid shutting or starting the motors. All right, so that's at 95%. So now I've got to turn it on its right side. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. Right, he's on his on her right side. Now I gotta turn her on her left side. It's windy out here, man. There you go, Rose. <laughs> it's kind of a slow process. I gotta stand her up. She's standing proud. There you go. Wonder if I gotta turn her upside down. I did this once before, but I forget the whole process. Alright, upside down. There we go. And now I need to turn it over because it's got to restart. Calibration successful. All right, let me get her open back up so I can get her up in the air. All right, she is on. Should I restart her and restart the? Uh, yeah, let me restart her. All right, she's restarted. Let's get back in the truck. Okay, we got Rose all set back up on the back of the truck. She's been restarted. There's an airplane around here again. Where is that thing? I don't know why they're flying so low around here today. Let's get her started. Go up about 50 feet. Take off. And see if she can uh, keep her straight line this time. Get up in the air, Rose. Let's go 50 feet. Pull the gimbal down. All right, we are at 50 feet. Straight ahead, let's go. And she is flying perfectly straight. That solved the problem. Dude. You fixed it for me, Way North Drones. That's amazing. Well, let's turn to the north here and just make sure this isn't a fluke. I don't know why the, the feed froze, but that doesn't matter. Oh, there's a boat. I'm going to get distracted here. <laughs> I'm recording. I'm going to do a circle. Or somewhat of a circle. Look at that. It's not even pixelating this time. 
Well, they did jump again. All right, cool. Well, that's that's pretty cool. That's a neat boat. I'm actually below that mast too, or whatever you call that uh, pole. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's put her out straight out again and see what she does. Let's verify this. And she is flying perfectly straight. That's amazing. Problem solved. Man, that is awesome. Very seldom do we actually get problems that are solved. We normally just have problems and attempts and that doesn't solve anything. But this time we actually solved the problem. So very cool. All right, let's get Rose home. Good job, Rose. Man, I'm so proud of you. You did awesome. Landing. Look at you. Like a professional. I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting that to work. But Rose, you're fixed. All thanks to Way North Drones. If you haven't done this already, go check Way North Drones' YouTube channel out. He makes some awesome cinematic videos, and he's way up north. <laughs> well, D40 Hippo, go ahead and try this IMU calibration. I bet you that it's gonna work for you too. We really wanna thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. God bless.